We are impressed with the second season of the ReZero anime, and it really made us invested in the characters. So when I saw the birthday versions of Rem and Ram pop up on Amy Amy, I was interested. Especially seeing how good the prototype photos look, I had to pick them up and check it out. This is a 1 7 scale of Rem, and she's just under 25 centimeters tall with the base. She's made by Kadokawa, which I always thought was just a book publisher. Apparently they do very nice figures too. Though I have a feeling this is subcontracted out to another company. If anyone knows which company actually makes Kadokawa's figures, please let me know in the comments. One thing I want to mention is when we unboxed her, we were impressed that everything on the sculpt is super crisp. This is a rarity, especially at the smaller 1 7 scale. Rem comes with no accessories. I hesitate to call the base an accessory since that's absolutely required to have Rem stand properly. The base is pretty though, with a clear yellow plastic for the star section, and very nicely shaped and painted hearts going up from the bottom. I do wish the clear plastic part were bigger though, since the way Rem stands, the center of gravity isn't at the center of this tiny base. Rem's little top hat is beautiful. The bow and the rose, coupled with that detailed hat band, is incredible. Painting is great as well, with good shadow painting on the hat. The rose is painted in a pearl purple. Her hair has very good sculpting and very realistically sized strands. Detail all over is very good as well, which is a plus. But the painting is too one-dimensional. Some shadow painting would really improve the look. The face is also very well done. Her eyes are printed well, the nose is defined, and the mouth is very expressive. There's a slight blush on her cheeks, and her ears are reasonably detailed. Kadokawa really did a fantastic job capturing Rem's features, and the sculpt really conveys the joy well. The white and purple dress is a masterpiece. There's just so many beautifully done little details all over. Starting with the bow on her collar, it has good detail and painting, and just check out how thin that ribbon is. Her white shirt has very sharp detail sculpted, but could do with a little bit more shadow painting to bring out the details. The fabric folds and placket are especially impressive. Moving onto her arms, the purple sleeve ends are separate pieces and have really good white details painted in. The arms are average, with good hand sculpting. I especially like her left hand holding the bouquet, with her pinky sticking out. The bouquet of flowers looks good, with the wrapping paper painted in pearl white, which is a nice touch. The flowers look great, with lots of detail, even on the leaves. Again, I would like a little bit more shadow painting within the petals to bring out more depth, but that's really nitpicking. But for me, the wristbands are what draws my eye the most. They're super detailed on the bow, with super crisp sculpting, and very well painted accents. The white section that's covering her wrist has little ridges sculpted, which are hard to see since Kadokawa didn't put in shadow painting. Going back to her dress, the purple corset section has three little gold clasps, which has crazy detail, considering their size. The bow on the back looks good as well with a good movement sculpted. The main section of the dress has tons of natural looking folds sculpted, and actually very well painted in the folds. The multiple layers look beautiful and really give a sense of motion. The ridges on the edge of the skirt layers are meticulously sculpted and draw your eye to what's underneath. Talking about underneath, the inside of the dress is not left out. It's got tons of detail and there's just enough light shadows to give it some depth. There's also a peek at Rem's white underwear, as well as her thighs, complete with some garter belts. The detail here is still really good, including the gold detailing on the ends of the garter belt. The stockings are nothing spectacular when compared to the other sections, but it's still nicely done with a metallic purple paint which gives off a very nice sheen. There's not too much anatomical details on the legs though. Most figures don't put much attention to the shoes, but Kadokawa did not skimp out here. Rem's shoes look great with decent detailing, but amazing painting. 
The gloss top makes it look like a rich, supple red leather, and the different colored soles give it a dress shoe sole vibe. The heel is also painted in this color scheme, which is great attention to detail. One last detail is that rose ornament on her left shoe. It's got the same level of detail as the flowers, and it's nice to see that these little details in not so obvious spots. I'm floored by how good Karokawa made this figure. The cute sculpt, vibrant pose, amazing details, and fantastic painting make this figure as one of the best I own. The only gripe I have is that more shadow painting throughout would have raised it to a higher level. I'm sure you've heard me mention it multiple times before, but the only word that comes to mind when I examine the figure is crisp. And this crispness comes at a really reasonable price. With an MSRP of just over 15,000 yen, and secondhand prices staying around the same, this is a must buy for folks who want a technically superb figure, or is a fan of ReZero in general.